web developers, backend engineers, software engineers. We are back at it again with another video. In this video, we'll be looking at DNS. You can see the you, you can see the graphic on the screen. You're talking about DNS and domain name system. And before we get into it, please be sure you know subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and yeah, so you can get notified on these. So uh, without further ado, let me just get into it. So DNS stands for Domain Name System. It's a hierarchical and decentralized naming system for computers, services, or any resource connected to the internet or a private network. It's an essential component of the internet infrastructure, and it helps you translate human-readable domain names into machine-readable IP addresses. So how it works is the user enters a domain name. The user enters the domain name such as a www.youtube.com into the address of the web browser there's the resolving process the web browser sends a dns query to a dns resolver the dns resolver is responsible for resolving domain names into ip addresses they got the root server so the dns resolver starts its search at the root server and the root server provides the address of the top level domain servers so there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes in terms of DNS. So then we've got the DNS resolver sends a query to the TLD server of the domain name. TLD server provides the addresses of the authoritative name servers for the domain name. Then um, there's the authoritative name servers. The DNS resolver sends a query to the authoritative name servers of the domain name. So the authoritative name servers provide the IP address of the domain name. Then the web server, the web browser receives the IP address. The DNS resolver sends the IP address back to the web browser. Then the web browser connects to the web server. The web browser uses the IP address to connect to the web server as hosts, as that hosts the website. Then uh, this web server sends the web page. So the web server sends the web page back to the web browser. So there's a lot of um, abstraction that happens, especially when you're working with a web browser. So all this happens behind the scenes. And with my help, I'll just try to, you know, uh, run. I've just tried to run down like uh, what happens behind the scenes because it's very good to appreciate like those things. So we've got types of DNS servers. So there are many types of DNS servers. So we've got. Um, the root servers got TLD servers. The root server, there are 13. The root servers, there are 13 root servers located around the world. They're responsible for providing the addresses of the TLD servers. So the TLD servers, there are hundreds of TLD servers, each of which is responsible for a specific top level domain, such as .com, .net, .org. So the TLD server, that's the one that I, I mentioned it in I've mentioned it uh, and how the DNS was. So the TLD server, top level domain. So it it enables to enables the the link. You can see the .com, the .net, .org that extension. So that's a TLD server. So there's a lot that goes on in there. So authoritative name servers. There are two types of authoritative name servers: primary name servers and secondary name servers. So a primary name servers are responsible for providing the IP address of the domain name. Secondary name server are backups of the primary name server. So secondary one, if the primary doesn't work, the secondary one is a backup in there. So DNS is quite uh, broad and extensive. I will look towards uh, looking at it in depth, but this one, I just made sure just to highlight those things so that just to get them out of the way before we get into it in depth. But there are also benefits of using uh, domain name systems. So DNS provides a number of benefits, including ease of use. So DNS makes it easy for users to access websites by using domain names instead of IP addresses. There's the efficiency. DNS helps to reduce traffic on the internet by caching IP addresses. There is scalability. DNS is a scalable system that can handle the large number of websites on the internet. And there's the reliability. DNS is a reliable system that is available 24 seven. So domain name system is an essential component 
of the internet structure that and it plays a role in making the internet user friendly and efficient so I'll look towards making a couple of videos talking about a uh, domain name system just to like get some clarity on that but with this with, with this um, information it will allow you to be able to like have a good walkthrough on and have like a uh, understanding or that's the basic understanding on how things work because there's a lot of abstraction that happens especially when it comes to web browsers and dns and you see some people quest question like where is there dot com where is there dot co dot ke i'm a kenyan so there's co dot ke where is it dot org dot geo dot ke all those or even dot africa something like that so it all stems down to like the domain name system you have the top you've got the top level domain you've got like the ones that the ones that deal with those extensions which is something that i will look forward to just talking about it in depth but just to just to like start that's the information that you need to know at this time so if you guys like the video make sure you leave your feedback down in the comments i will be coming back just making a couple of videos just talking about these things uh extensively so stay tuned and uh, more to come and slowly we'll be able to like look at this thing try to break them down and just enhance your understanding on uh, how the internet works, uh, web browsers, domain name systems. And uh, in the next video, I will be looking at domain names and I'll also look at hosting and what that's all about. And also a bit of database management using Postgres. So stay tuned to that and yeah, man, happy coding.